molto legato a questo festival perché c'è stato nel 1986, 86? 86. 86, 86 con un film che ha vinto, You Win, festival, yes. okay. eh, che ha vinto il primo premio al festival e quindi ovviamente eh, ha un legame particolare con questo festival e con questa città. Sì, sono accesi Ok, sì. Uh, and uh, microphone or I think the voice is loud enough, yes. no? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, and uh, so that gave me the idea. I also won an award in the US with a film, same film, and one in Germany. And that gave me the idea to the Teddy Award because I realized how good it is for a filmmaker to win a prize. So uh, we created that in Berlin in the program that I programmed at that time as the assistant. And yes, now the Teddy is 30, and Torino is 31. Yes. <laughs> Ed è appunto con questo film che gli è venuta poi l'idea di inventare il, il Teddy, che è appunto il, il premio che eh, poi ha deciso di inventare per appunto come all'interno della selezione del Festival di Berlino, eh, nel quale lavorava all'epoca come assistente e appunto in un, in un attimo sono diventate 30 edizioni e il TGLF al 31esimo e quindi insomma, un, altro, un altro legame in più, quello della longevità dei due, dei due festi, cioè del premio, del Teddy e del festival. I have seen the film once very quickly, so I don't know exactly what was in it, but I'm sure the film also referred to our first winners, which were two gentlemen that nobody knew at the time, Gibra Mudova and Gabriel Sand, and of course the Teddy, because they became terribly famous very quickly after. E lui ha visto una sola volta il film e molto rapidamente quindi non è sicurissimo di, di tutto quello che c'è poi è montato nel film però sicuramente compariranno i primi vincitori del, del premio che sono stati Almodovar e Van Sant e che poi subito dopo sarebbero diventati così famosi come, come tutti noi sappiamo So in case you have a question or a remark or anything you want to say or that I might be able to answer Qualche domanda, qualche osservazione, qualche uh, curiosità? So, if, you had, if I understand uh, correctly, uh, you had the idea of Teddy Bear to Merino from uh, Torino. Well, me as a filmmaker winning yeah. three awards, one of them was the Torino Award, yes. gave me lots of write-ups in the press. Of course, the American Award gave me write-ups in the London Times. And as a young filmmaker, you're very proud when you get a write-up in the London Times. So, uh, you know, this, this is uh, what I also wanted to give to other filmmakers that I bring to Berlin and show the films there. So, uh, we have seen this uh, documentary about uh, 30 years in Berlino. Uh, can you make a comparison between nowadays Berlin, Torino, and uh, 30 years ago Berlin and Torino? Mm -hmm. The yes, I can. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> um, well, 30 years ago in Berlin, um, it was more of a subcultural event. So we were meeting up at night where, while the Berlin Film Festival, which is one of the biggest in the world, it's a really big film festival, and we program part of it. At night, we showed films that were important for queer people, but not strong enough cinematically to be in the festival. So at night we were showing those films in the gay bookstore. Yeah. And uh, one of those meetings finally became the jury for the first award of the Teddy. Uh, so it grew out of the gay movement, so to speak, and the lesbian movement, which started uh, a little bit delayed uh, to that. And uh, we started to, to make the celebration. What you just saw, uh, was uh, this year in a, in a huge space. It's every year in a huge space. And we try to go to spaces that are, that don't have a gay connotation or a lesbian connotation, but are famous places in Berlin. Like we were in one of the opera houses, we were in the old airport, and uh, places like this. So we wanted to have queer culture in many places in the city. And that has just like grown bigger, of course, uh, over the years. I think it's a little bit the same when you look at Torino, because in the first year when I was here, for example, with my understanding, I was quite um, uh, astonished because the, there were many people in the cinema, 
it was a big cinema on a square. I forgot which one it was, of course. Um, but I didn't see any gay people. And I said, uh, uh, who are these people? Uh, what, they're coming really for this film? And uh, Giovanni and Ottavio at that time, of course, uh, said, yes, they're coming for this film. And then I realized the gay boys came with a girlfriend. <laughs> and it all looked to me, to my eyes, uh, not gay. But uh, for the eyes from people here, they knew, of course, what was going on. So this is, of course, these times are over as well here. So, um, yeah, I think these are the biggest changes. And also yeah. we have more films to choose from. It's important uh, because the films that are made and with queer content usually are the cheaper films. The money goes to the straight stuff, uh, more or less. So we need to support uh, queer cinema as much as we can in order to also create a life and an audience for those films. And the more queer film festivals started to pop up in the world, the better this infrastructure became. So um, queer film now has, has a life, one can say that. <laughs> Faccio una sintesi, avete capito? <ride> il concetto fa... <ride> no problem. E il concetto è comunque il, ovviamente l'evoluzione nel tempo che ha avuto l'importanza del cinema queer e LGBT, quindi di come è iniziato come una piccola cosa e anzi lui appunto ricordava di quando era stato a Torino e addirittura non gli sembrava di essere a un festival di cinema tematica LGBT perché non, il pubblico non si capiva eh, appunto se avesse già come dire, preso coscienza del, del, della propria legittimità e questo è molto cambiato ovviamente in 30 anni eh, per fortuna quei tempi sono, sono finiti ma è sempre importante che eh, manifestazioni ovviamente come il Teddy War e come il TGLFF contribuiscano a eh, legittimare e dare sempre più importanza al cinema e alla cultura queer e LGBT in sintesi well, in, in the, you're fantastic in the meantime um, also Venice has an award like this uh, because the director of Berlin at that time became later the director of the Venice Film Festival for two years and in these two years two young men I don't know if they're here in the festival uh, started the Rainbow Lion yes. which is like the Teddy Award and uh, then came Cannes also has a queer award called uh, the, the Queer Palm that's the title next, next week yes. or in ten days we will know what that was Cannes. And uh, some other of the big festivals also start to acknowledge queer filmmaking also as something that is part of the cinematic family because this is what we have achieved. It wasn't part of the cinematic world. It was a sidetrack and now it's part of it. That is uh, the main goal that we needed to reach, to reach out to mainstream media and show them that we exist. La cosa più, diciamo, l'obiettivo più importante che è stato raggiunto è quello che non si tratta più il cinema queer e LGBT, non è più un cinema di nicchia dedicato a pochi, ma eh, ormai è stato eh, per fortuna legittimato anche dalle, grandi dalle più grandi manifestazioni cinematografiche, infatti eh, anche il, cinema, il Festival Cinema di Venezia e il Festival di Cannes hanno istituito due premi, eh, il, il Rainbow Lion, cioè il leone arcobaleno e la Queer Palm, cioè la palma d'oro per il miglior film eh, queer, il che vuol dire eh, aver eh, per fortuna raggiunto una, un ruolo eh, di riconoscimento appunto anche all'interno delle grandi manifestazioni cinematografiche di importanza mondiale. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Well, then I thank you for coming in, and uh, maybe one day you come to Berlin and uh, we celebrate together. <laughs> but first we celebrate what you find for an award in a couple of days. I'm here on the jury, so I'm part of that, uh, and uh, I hope you like the film that we pick. Quindi, grazie di essere venuti e magari un giorno veni, verrete a Berlino al, al Teddy Award, ma intanto fra due giorni decideremo il, il vincitore del, del 31esimo TGLFF, quindi essendo lui un membro della giuria, vi aspetta la cerimonia di premiazione e chiuderemo il festival insieme lunedì sera. And thank you very much. It was fantastic. <laughs> really great. Thank you. Thank you.